We found four cool discoveries in our Toyota GR Supra. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Because we're not driving nearly as much as we did in the before times, mostly working remotely, the miles aren't exactly piling on our 2020 Toyota Supra. As a result, when the Supra's odometer ticked over 8,000 miles, almost precisely a year after its arrival, it alerted me it was due for its first service, oil change. And while this year has been plodding along, I made a couple discoveries about the car. Service and inspection I love how easy it is now to find a nearby dealer, service center online, pick a date and time, and add any pertinent information prior to arriving. I planned the timing and the location of the visit so I could walk to a nearby restaurant for lunch, Thai takeout, if you must know. And if you've been following along with the Supra's updates, you'll know that everyone who has driven the Supra has complained that the central display and gauges are too dim. To get to the bottom of it, I added that to the online reservation for service. Masked up, I took the car to the dealership and queued up. The service rider found my reservation, we went over it, and I told him I'd be going to lunch while I wait. I returned an hour later to discover it wasn't yet ready. That's when I learned this dealership had only one technician who was authorized to work on the BMW-based Supra. Nuts. Okay, another hour passed, and I get the car back. Discovery number one. Not so bright I was informed that the thumb wheel with a light and gauge icon on the lower left side of the dashboard does not control the brightness of gauges or screen. That wheel is for the interior's ambient lighting. What? It's labeled with a light and a gauge icon. To adjust the brightness of the display or gauges, one must walk seven steps deep into the menus. 1. My vehicle. 2. System settings. 3. Displays. 4. Control display. 5. Brightness at night. 6. Turn the controller until the desired brightness is set. And finally 7. Press the controller. Easy, right? Ironically, the owner's manual follows up with a warning. Depending on the light conditions, the brightness settings may not be clearly visible. Ha! No kidding. It's too dim, and according to what I saw on the screen, it was already set its brightest position. When I tested the more powerful 2021 Supra to compare it to this one, I noted that its screen and gauges were also dim. It's just the way they all are. Sorry, folks. Discovery number 2. Cost of Supra service normally, a Toyota is covered free of charge for routine maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. Heck, even BMW Z4, which this Supra shares a platform and mechanicals with, is covered three years, 36,000 miles, but not the Supra. After a thorough inspection, topped off washer fluid, free, tire rotation, and oil change, the total cost for routine maintenance was $165.88. This included 7 liters of 0W20 synthetic oil, $65.90, an oil filter, $9.76, and a drain plug gasket, $0.85. Cents. The labor amounted to $83.44, and California sales tax, 7.75%, was $5.93. For perspective, the cost of an oil change and inspection for the Honda Civic Type RI chaperone for a year was less than $100. Discovery number 3. A cool breeze One idiosyncratic feature of BMWs has been to vary the temperature directed from the dash vents to that of the footwell. In the past, there have been prominent blue to red dials on the dash to raise and lower upper body venting temps. They've since been relegated to a menu deep in the settings. I prefer warm feet and a cool torso. I wondered, does the BMW-based Supra have this feature? It does. A mere five steps deep. 1. My vehicle. 2. Vehicle settings. 3. Climate functions. 4. Temperature adjustment. Upper body. Then 5. Set the desired temperature. Done. Discovery number 4. Easy access I love that so many cars now have wireless mobile phone charging trays. The fact that the Supra's was covered by a plastic shroud, with only a narrow slot on the leading edge, always has always frustrated me. Over the shifter and under the shroud, or the reverse became tiresome. I often tugged on it to see if it was removable but always felt like I'd break something if I forced it. 
Well, one day I was determined. Like tab A in slot B, I managed to pop it out unmolested. Gah. The rubberized surface ensures my phone stays in place while driving, so what's the story on the unnecessary shroud, Toyota? Bye. Supra fuel economy since the last update, we've only managed to add 1,237 miles. However, most of those miles were driven on highways, not commuting. As a result, the running average fuel economy rose from 24.5 mpg to 25.5 mpg, inching closer to the EPA's city, highway combined estimate of 26 mpg. One more guest authored update from a 1,000 mile road trip is on its way. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.